Hello everyone, this is Pia Gam, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Um, I would like to show you another star getting tip here. Um, if you talk to this guy here and pay him some star bits, you'll be able to move the prankster comets that are on the, um, the individual galaxies, so to speak. And, uh, once you feed him 20 star bits, he'll change the locations of them. If there is, if there is no... What the heck? There's no, there's no prankster comments right here. Wow. Well, anyway, if there is none, you can pay him to uh, bring some around. So let's just talk to him one more time and pay him another 20 star bits. As you know, I, I, I get a ton of star bits, so uh, uh, this shouldn't be very much uh, problems on my pocketbook, so to speak. And uh, ooh, delicious. Now let's see where he puts those prankster comets, or I should say where they land up, and there's one at the terrace, there's one at the garden, and there's one at the bedroom. So, let's get to that. The first one, as I said, at the terrace, so let's go right here, so, because it's right nearby, <laughs> and grab onto the star, see where the prankster comet ended up, and it's at the Honey Hive Galaxy. It is the Cosmic Comet, which means I will be racing Cosmic Mario again. Woo, this is gonna be exciting! Warning! Cosmic Mario ahead, and he is causing black holes to appear everywhere. You must stop him by racing him for some reason. Actually, that's not the story whatsoever, but you gotta get to this star over here. Uh, if you seen me do the uh, first star of this galaxy before, you know exactly how to get to that star as efficiently as possible. So, you shouldn't have any trouble getting to that star faster than this Mario here. Get ready, press the Z button, and dash! Oh, I'm screwed it up. And I'm also screwing up, <laughs> like, really early. Anyway, use a long jumps to get as much, oh shoot, much speed as you possibly can. Go all the way over here, long jump across the gap and spin. Oh, I didn't even need to spin there. And go all the way across here and fall down the hole. I, I recommend that you ground pound for some extra speed, then triple jump to get up here, one, two, three, and then spin, that's the fastest way that you can get up there, and then just long jump to each grassy portion as you go, not the honey, not the honey, and there's your star, that was incredibly quick. Uh, another tip that I would like to mention is if you talk to the Black Luma here, if you uh, um, then press A to switch it, you'll be able to see uh, where those comets end up. There aren't any comets right now, no, for some reason. I don't know why. So let's talk to this guy again and get him to play some comets. So let's feed him 20 star bets. Yeah, but as you can see, looking at that map is a handy, uh, handy way of finding out where any prankster comets have landed all. Snacky diddly doo! And wow, there's a lot of them. Ooh, purple comet at the terrace. That means it's a purple coin challenge. So I might as well go back over there. And see what the heck is going on. It's a purple comet in orbit at the Good Egg Galaxy. And might I add that whenever there's a purple comet in orbit on some planet, I love the music. The music appears only cer on certain purple comet stars, like ones that are timed. Um, but the ones that, but the ones that it's on, are just awesome. Uh, I think this is a timed one. No, it's not a timed one. Yeah, there's no time limit on a time limit on this one. Dang it! Well, anyway, there's a hundred purple coins on this uh, little planet hopping adventure here. So uh, just follow the paths of coins and uh, just see where you end up. Um, on the first route around these planets, I'm not going to shake. I'm not going to shake in midair to go like in in these stars that are free floating like that. I'm just going to go from one planet to the next and. Uh, Follow the whoa, follow the paths. Yeah, they put those purple coins a little bit haphazardly there, uh, but I think that's the idea, you know, just a little bit of the idea. 
And wow, I almost just walked into a, a delightful boulder there. And go right into here. Oh wait, that's, that's not the right thing that I'm looking for, dang it. Well, I can collect star bits anyway. <laughs> Uh, this is the right thing that I'm looking for. Go in this one and completely ignore that free-floating launch star, just like I said before, because you're going to have to go through here on a second run anyway. So, just go from one planet to the next on the first run, and then take care of the aerial work on the next one. Now, was that all the purple coins on this planet? Seriously? Well, I'm at 60, so... Let's go! Hopefully I won't have to go back there. I guess we'll see when I see, or see when I get there, whatever. Uh, skip that one, and I think this is back at the beginning. So I think this is where I'm going to be starting my aerial route, but I'm going to grab these star bits for the fun of it. Yeah! As I said, I'm going to need a lot of star bits. Okay, now when I get to this launch star in the free-floating space here, I'm going to shake. Get ready. Like that. And there should be another set of purple coins coming up. Way out in the middle of nowhere. And then I'm going to once again use a launch star, and then go get another free-floating set of uh, purple coins in midair on another planet, uh, which is going to be this. Oh, wait, no, I'm going back. Wait, no, wait, this is right. <laughs> I'm kind of forgetting the uh, aerial paths here, but that's okay. Um, I'm missing 10, uh, so let's just do another uh, aerial star, not aerial star, free-floating launch star. So I'm going to hit this one, then hit another launch star, Come on, come on, I know you're there. Shaky? Yeah! I think this is the last set. Ten more to go. Bingo! There is your star! Way back at that egg-shaped planet thingy. Well, I just landed right by it. That was awesome. Maybe I took the most, the most optimal path I could. I don't know, but it worked out really well. There is! A delightful purple coin star. This will complete the Terrace 100%, so let's go get all the purple coins in this area. This could actually take a while, so I'm not sure if I'll have enough time in this part. I guess I'll see how things go. The Honey Hive's purple coins. Let's get this started. There's a lot of purple coins. 100, and they're, all, they're scattered all over this area. So be ready for a lot of exploration. Let's go. Woo! Star bit! Oh boy! I'm not, I'm not exactly positive how to get that, how to get those coins way up there just yet. Oh, I, I know how to get up there. Oh shoot! No! No! I accidentally, <laughs> accidentally spun in midair. Guess I'm gonna have to restart from the beginning. Okay, let's try this again. This is take two on these purple coins here because I've accidentally spun in midair. As you've just seen from that little black hole cut there. Arr, anyway, there's 100 coins here. As I said before the cut, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that portion. That's why I said that there. You gotta find all of them. And I'm, I'm just gonna take my usual path through here and wall jump up, over, and around to here. There's two coins up here. They put them in really awkward, really out-of-the-way spots, but that's kind of part of the point, you know, because this is the purple coin challenge, and you've got to find them. That's part of the challenge, as I said. It's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of annoying. Uh, can I wall jump up here? Yes, I can. <laughs> um, I need to get behind that wall, if I'm not mistaken, later. Um, for now I gotta go down this pipe, and, uh, get some coins up here, I should say over here, not up here. Well, technically it is up here, but it's actually down below the surface line, so it's not exactly above anything. And we got one up, and there's another coin here, way in the honey. This is very slow, sticky stuff, so that'll take forever to go through if you land in it. Whoopsie doodle, and in onto the ledge and across and there's more purple coins that you can get down here and I'm going to leave those coins from when I for when I come back here on another route because I'm gonna be uh, sliding down that uh, little slide there later so hang in there I'll be up there in just a sec well not just a sec it'll actually be a little while um, 
Let's see what's in here. Probably nothing, just the star bits, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> star bits. Um, I think that's all the uh, purple coins you can get over here for now. Oh boy! A lot of little critters, a lot of little critters. They love to grip your head relentlessly. Anyway, there's nothing there, so swing along the spine. Do not accidentally spin yourself in midair like I did the first time. That would be death. Uh, blow that, I mean, blow that, yeah, blow it up. Um, jump up here, spin, backflip to get that coin. Um, there is no B power ups at all, is there? Um, oh man. I'm gonna have to go take a, oh shoot, I was gonna say second, second run through there because of the way that's designed. Um, gotta go up the vine once again. Yay, this is. This is awesome right here. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Uh, now I'm gonna try this coin again. And gotcha! Ah, uh, you really can't go back up uh, by spinning off those slopes, can you? Now I'm gonna go around the perimeter and collect some more coins. And doink, 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 doink. There's some coins up on this ledge here. No, wait, I'll get those a little bit later, because there's some coins on this lower area that I need to get. Um, there's these three right here. You can just get them by jumping at them one at a time. Uh, you don't have to actually land on that little ledge there. Not ledge, a uh, little um, border or fence, whatever you want to call it there. Uh, it's kind of hard to call it a fence, so I, I, well, I guess it is a fence. What am I talking about? I, mean, I don't know, I always ramble on. And these coins, you gotta be very, very careful. Okay. A little bit scary, but I did it. And there's a couple coins, as I said, along this wall here. Uh, I will collect them along this upper area here, just because I'm up here, and it's a little bit safer when I'm able to turn the camera around. Cause I'm gonna just, I can just run up the area straight, and I'll, how the heck did I miss the switch? That thing is three times bigger than Mario, if not more than that. And over here, you just slam this thing, some purple coin, obstacle area things will appear, and pop, and again do the same with the other one. I might be able to just, no I can't just wall jump and get it, can I? Nope. That would be too easy! <laughs> wall jump to get those, but there is a special uh, area right here. You gotta get up here carefully. Now get the camera to turn around and jump down here. Okay. Oh. And I will be back up there in a minute uh, to get other coins. And there's these right here. Three behind this honeycomb area. And now I gotta jump down the slide and hope Hope that I get the, th the coins that there are down here. Here we go. Point, 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 point. Yeah! Mad skills. Now I'm going to go cut over to how I got back up there. I forgot to mention, I missed three coins over here. Yeah, off to this little ledge over here. Uh, yeah, there's a couple coins right there. There's a coin precariously placed on this edge here. I'll be down over there in just a sec to get those coins, because I know how to get there now. I should say I remember how to get there. Is there any coins? Yes, there is coins up here. Okay. Go run, Mario. Get away from Death Ledge. Oh, boy. Get those. Okay. Oh. Okay, 80, I think I can just do, oh, don't do that camera, don't scare me like that. Jump down here, and I'll take a slide down this way, there's a coin there, coin, 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 uh, five, six, seven, please tell me there's three coins around here somewhere. Eight, oh, come on, 99. Okay, see the last coin way up above on that swing there? Uh, grab that swing and flop yourself up to it. The star appears right at the beginning. 
Oh, that was an ordeal. Well, there's your star. Go collect it. And that's about it for this part. So I shall see you guys in the next part. I hope you guys enjoy. Man, that was a lot of work. Yeah.